friends? Raise your hand if you're happy to be able to learn about another true story in our Bible. Oh good, me too. And raise your hand if you love to dance and worship to Jesus. You do? And tell me who made those hands you just raised in the air. That's right, God did. And who made you? God made you. Yes, he did. And he did a great job. Let's stand up and sing out with those voices God made and tell him thank you for the wonderful way he made you and me. God made me and each and every one of you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Last week we learned a new memory verse. If you remember it, say it with me. It says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. That's right, you are so special because you are made by God. He loves you and he made you in a special way. Who made you? God made me. Today, I'm gonna need your help with our story. Can you help me? Get your listening ears on. I want everybody to touch their head like this. What do you feel? Hair, you're right. God made people with hair. Some have a lot of hair and some have a little hair. And some people even have no hair at all. But no matter if you have a little or a lot, God knows exactly how many hairs he put on your head. It's true. The Bible teaches us that God knows how many hairs are on your head. Every single one. That must mean you are very important to God. Let's visit our friends in the clubhouse to hear more about how important we are to him. Oh, oh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear. Do you like looking at pictures? 
I do too! Lucy would look so happy in this picture. All I had to do was say cheese. And she would start smiling and laughing. What a great day. And here's what I painted. Say cheese, Peyton. And Julia. And Mariah. When I told Mariah to say cheese, guess what I noticed? She lost the tooth. She was super excited that day. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho! Ho! Hanging up photos, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I have all these amazing photos of my friends that remind me how important they are to me. I love them all so much. Loving your friends is great. It's true. God loves all of them, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Want to see today's special? Ta-da! They're my wild watermelons. They kind of look like they have hair, don't they? <laughs> that reminds me. You came for a story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three! Tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible. Whoa! What is that? It's very hairy. Can you tell what it is? I think it's an animal? Let's zoom out. It's a bunny! Whoa! So much hair. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again! <laughs> hmm. What kind of animal could this be? Maybe a grizzly bear? Or a horse? Let's see. It's a llama! That's awesome! Now, check out this creature. This one might be the hairiest of them all. What do you think, wild buffalo? Let's see. It's a kid! Wow! Look at all that hair! Did you know the Bible teaches that God knows how many hairs are on your head? It's true, every single one. Can you even imagine counting this person's hair? And yet God knows exactly how many hairs are on his head. He even knows if one hair falls out <laughs> onto his shirt. He knows. And do you know what that means for you? It means you are important to God. It's true. You are so important to God, no matter where you go. You're important to God when you're at the dentist. You're important to God when you're in timeout. You're important to God even when you're asleep. You're important to God when you're in the front of the line or anywhere in the line. You're important to God when you're sad or happy or mad or even silly. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? We are important to God. He made each and every one of us. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. We are important to God. He made and he loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that's so awesome. God made each of us and we're important to him. My friends are important to me and they're important to God. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Hey, I have an idea. How about I take a picture of you with your biggest smile? Are you ready? Say cheese! Wow, you guys did great. Super job, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye! Do you remember what you're supposed to say when I ask you, who made you? God made you, that's right. Who made you? God made you. Who made you? God made you, that's right. That makes you very important to God. Friends, it's time to pray. So let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for making people and for loving us like you do. You care so much about people that you even know how many hairs are on our heads. And that's a lot of people in the world. But we are all that important to you. Help us to treat every person like they are important because they are. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Fun Forest friends, I have had so much fun learning all about who made you and who loves you. And that's Jesus. Now parents, we have fun resources and activities your kids will love. So be sure to follow us on our Life Fellowship Preschool page and or on our website at lifefellowship.tv kids. I hope to see you soon.